Here's our tale of the tape. Brought to you by Red Kong Wen. Both men, 32 years of age. As Kenny mentioned, Ahmed Amir is the taller fighter at 5'10". He has a 7-inch reach advantage on the arms and a 4-inch advantage on the leg. This bout is set for three five-minute rounds in the PFL lightweight division. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner at 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds with a record of 12 wins and three losses. Fighting out of Manama, Bahrain, the Butcher, Ahmed Amir. And his opponent, standing in the red corner at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, with a record of 14 wins and three losses. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Bruno Robusto Miranda. Your referee, Chris Tyone. There's Chris Tyone equipped with the ref cam. Bruno Miranda in the red trunks, Ahmed Amir in the gray trunks. Three five minute rounds with regular season points at stake. Touch of the gloves and we're underway at 155 pounds. Measuring so far, Miranda taking control of the center of the smart cage. Comes in behind an overhand right. Amir turns away. And out of all the fighters that weighed in last night, I thought these guys had the most intense teardown. There's that leg kick from Miranda. I think it's worth noting, this is a lightweight bout. We've had three lightweight fights already. Nice right hand there from Ahmed Amir. All decision victories, so a finish in the first round, the second round, or the third round puts whoever can earn that finish right at the top of the standing, heading into the second half of the regular season. So big opportunity for both of these men in our true sports format here in the Professional Fighters League. Good leg kick there from Miranda after he missed with his right hand. Amir doing a good job staying out of range. Must have uh, been listening to Kenny's keys to victory. <laughs> now is the time for Miranda to, to charge into the pocket and try and land something. He's got limited angles of escape with that fence. Miranda's doing a great job of using his footwork to hunt him down, back him up to that cage, and now he's got to start taking advantage and damaging and scoring when he gets him there. Yeah, and, and Amir, if he doesn't want to get leg kicked anymore, has to be pursuing and backing up Miranda way more. He can't be backing up here against a great leg kicker like Miranda. Oh, oh, the sprawl, I think, hurt Ahmed Amir. Yeah, ran right into the hips of Miranda. He dove in on a takedown attempt and got stunned. Yeah, just like he ran into a wall there. And he got a little stinger. Yep. Appears to have recovered as he tries that inside trip. He still might be hurt here. Bruno steps right out of it. You're going to have to set up those takedown attempts if you want to get Bruno Miranda down to the mat. Nice oh, oh, left hand landed. Bruno Miranda has Ahmed Amir in trouble. Man, on unsteady legs. Miranda's built like a fire hydrant. 
not conceding any of those takedowns at all. Amir seems like he's in trouble and losing confidence very fast. You ever try to take down a fire hydrant, Kenny? I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I don't recommend it. Now Bruno Miranda stalking. Oh. Tried to dial in that uppercut. I mean, he doesn't even move on those takedowns. My goodness. Big left hand by Miranda. And here's where he needs to let his hands go. He's in the pocket. He's got him where he wants him. Now, Miranda's, Miranda's looking for the kill here. One minute left in round number one. Amir circling to try and shake out the cobwebs. Little bounce back in the step of the fighter from Bahrain. Amir's got to be careful with that overhand right from Miranda. Oh, nice left hook from Amir. Good work there to put Miranda on the back foot. That was a big calf kick. Caught Amir with weight on that leg. There's the left hooks again. Oh, he heard him. Short Off shots on the inside again for Miranda. Amir down on the hips, trying to survive. Pretty sure short shots are all that Miranda has, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amir yeah. still very much in it, moving his head. Final 10 seconds, he lands a jab. Right hand landed there for Bruno Miranda late. Final bell of round one. Second round. Right. Bruno Miranda out of Brazil in the red trunks. Ahmed Amir representing Bahrain in the gray. First round probably in the books for Miranda. But Ahmed Amir stays oh. in it. Nasty right hand from Bruno. It, not only are those combinations just so sharp and beautiful, but his rhythm changes. He'll go like he's just moving slow, and then he'll explode and change it up. And I think Amir is having a very difficult time reading it. Yeah, those speed changes are tough to gauge. Yeah. Oh, oh man. A left and a right yeah. landing. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Bruno Miranda having a hard time after hurting Ahmed Amir, putting him away. I mean, he just straight armed Amir <laughs> down to the canvas. That was Heisman Trophy ca category right there. Jeez. He definitely knows he's got Amir hurt. He's wading in. Slips out of that takedown attempt. That can get exhausting for the fighter not able to get an opponent to the ground. Now oh. Miranda oh. charging forward with another combination. Amir continues to cycle backward. Man, Amir is so tough. Ah, oh, he dug that one in. That, oh, right low kick. Ahmed Amir on autopilot after taking those nasty punches. He immediately dives down to the hip with the heavy sprawl from Bruno Miranda. It really is impressive to see the counter wrestling or the defensive wrestling of Bruno Miranda, who comes from a Muay Thai background, but man, he looks pretty comfortable when someone's in on his legs. Body shots, and then he goes upstairs. Amir ducks under to try and grab this leg. That was an interesting shot. He changed levels right to his hind end and then reached from there. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. <laughs> yeah, and, and Amir keeps dropping that lead left hand, which is opening him up to a right hand. He's got to be very careful. And that left hook for Miranda ain't too shabby either. There it is. A left hook right on the front of Ahmed Amir's face. Down and strike landed there for Amir. Still trying to find his moments in this fight. Just over two minutes remaining in the second round. Three points for a win, bonus points for a finish in any round. Two bonus points if you can get it done in the second frame. For either of these men, that would put them in first place for now in the playoff standings. Another nasty left hook on the counter from Bruno Miranda. I, I love the aggression from Miranda, but I think he's headhunting a little bit too much at this point. Might be forcing the knockout. I like to see him go back to those cap kicks. Hey, hey, 
is House Manfio, one-time lightweight champion, looking to get himself back into a $1 million championship opportunity. We'll see him in just a few minutes here. Uppercut and then a left hook from Miranda. Trying to get Amir to freeze his feet, but Amir won't play that game. Miranda just continues to limp leg out of those single leg attempts from Amir. Oh, Ooh. man. A left right combination. Caught Amir. Oh. Got him off balance. Right Miranda trying to follow it up. Uh, Amir is really hurt. He's struggling to stand up. He's covering it pretty well with level changes and reaching for those legs. But. Yeah. I mean, Amir's fighting back, no question about it. And he's had some success with that left hand, that left hook. But Miranda, it's just all over him. He's got his number. He's on to the timing of the takedown and level changes. And once Miranda gets on the inside, man, he is relentless and brutal. Very patient, though. Yes. But, you know, he, he takes a breath, he backs up and, and then resets. And... Final 10 seconds of the second round. Ahmed Amir survives once again. We'll see round three when we return to PFL on ESPN Plus. Last round, guys, here we go. Fight. Barring any surprises, two rounds to none for Bruno Miranda, but Ahmed Amir still in this fight coming forward. See the live odds have swung heavily in the favor of Bruno Miranda. I think Amir knows he's got to make something happen this round. He's got to have a, you know, almost a miracle. Oh, left hook landed for Bruno. Wow. And now Amir desperately grabbing at the legs. There's a big sprawl from Bruno. I'll tell you what, Ahmed Amir is tough as nails. He sure is, man. Taking big punches, he's had every excuse to get out of this fight, but he continues to keep after the legs. Every time he gets dropped, every time he loses his balance, he tries to crawl forward, sprawl forward. Makes it very difficult to land a finishing blow, and you know you've heard him, but he drops to his knees and, and reaches for your legs. You've got to respect that, or you're going to end up on your back. Calf kick there from Bruno. Oh, another. another one. That, that twisted up the knee of Amir there. And he landed the right hand as his leg buckled. Yeah, I don't think he's got much stability on that lead leg after that one. You can see from the middle of the thigh all the way down to the calf is red. Yeah, it looked like it put a lot of pressure on the inside of the knee. I, another that looks damaged. Yeah, another one or two of those. And I, I don't know if Ahmed Amir will still be standing in front of Bruno Miranda. There's Sadabusi, 2022 welterweight champ. He's fighting later tonight. He just got here, getting warm, getting ready, getting loose. He'll take on Jara Al Salawi, the Jordanian lion. And now Ahmed oh, Amir. This. How about Ahmed Amir? He's been pursuing this takedown all fight. Halfway through round three, he finally gets it. Nice job of Miranda to use the fence, turn to a knee. Get that whizzer. So now he's going to try and work his way back up. Amir got one leg trapped. He's trying to attack the other leg. Pull those legs and hips out. And put Miranda back down on the mat. Miranda doing a good job of building his base back so far. Amir, unbelievable persistence and determination here. Now trying to go to that body lock. See if he's trying to. He'll try to steer Miranda to his left, it looks like. 
got control of that right leg. He's got the end of the lever there on Miranda's right leg. Now trying to turn to the back. Has one hook. Miranda might be forced to go to guard here. Ahmed Amir now on the back of Bruno Miranda. Trying to sweep that leg out from under the Brazilian. Drags Miranda back to the mat. See if he can jump on the back and attack that neck. Amir has seven submissions to his credit. Got oh, both hooks in. Back. He's going to slide off, though. Miranda just stays upright. Good hand fighting by Miranda. Yeah, I mean, Miranda's got his head and hips higher than Amir's. It's going to be difficult for Amir yep. to Amir's finish fall this. Off the back. Yep. You're absolutely right, Kenny. This is a better position now for Amir, though. It doesn't help Amir that Bruno Miranda's right in front of his corner there on that side of the smart cage. Cal talking to him, trying to coach him through. Final 20 seconds. Third and final round. Oh, oh knee! Ahmed Amir is a terminator. Unbelievable. Unbelievable chin. Has 10 seconds to try and get a bonus point. Swings away, lands a left hook. Final bell. Good job, guys. Who won the fight? AI says Miranda, Randy, and Kenny agree. Oh, Randy, you you got Kenny to agree with the computer this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I had anything to do with it. I think Miranda did. <laughs> yeah. And the official decision is inside the smart cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges see the bout 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the PFL lightweight division, Bruno Robusto Miranda.